so this will be the second video of the Los Angeles Rams rebuild. We tanked super heavy last season and ended up getting six really good draft picks. And we have, I believe, four firsts for next year. And I try to keep it as realistic as possible. But when you're getting offered like three first rounders for the first overall pick, you got to take it. And we didn't really see a clear player, so we took it. Ends up rewarding us pretty well. Uh, our team already looks so good compared to last year. And uh, I think we have a lot to look forward to. So week one's coming up. We're going to go ahead and play this game, I think, just so we can see the new players. And I'll sim the majority of this season, more than likely. Uh, but with this 80 overall lineup, I wouldn't be that, that surprised if we make the playoffs. I think for now, we're just going to shoot for uh, seven wins. I think seven wins is, is a good number. Just turn this team a little bit around, and I think it'll be really, really good later on. So now we're going to choose the draft class. And of course, we auto-generate our rookies. Once again, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is I want a 6'9 wide receiver. I want it so bad. This looks like a QB draft class. My goodness. I feel like it's always like that, though. Josh Smith will end up more than likely being the first wide receiver taken unless things go crazy. However, Daryl Strickland is 6'5", 220. We may not get our 6'9 wide receiver but I would not be opposed to a 6'5". I love Mike Evans, uh, and he looks pretty similar to him. Now, going down the board, not even a lot of tall wide receivers, let alone 6'6". Six, six Unless I see something crazy here. Okay, so... We're going to be taking a heavy look in a strict one. A lot of round one gear, or QBs, wide receivers. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I know what I'm scouting this year. Uh, definitely don't need a tight end. We are set on tight end. Still don't know what we're going to do about Higby. That is a really tough call. And we'll just have to see when we get there, I suppose. Um, QBs. We have four in the top five. And not, I mean, Chris Anderson down the board, but that... Is interesting. We'll see what happens. Taylor Ellis is 6'5", 218. I, I would not be surprised if he ends up being, like, great to... Whoa. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. I think he's going to be generational. Um, that, that just made things so interesting. I thought we had our franchise QB, but... Taylor, if Taylor Ellis is as good as he looks like he's going to be, I'm not passing up on him. It's just not happening. Oh my goodness, he looked good. An edge rusher here. Okay, so we might have two top-of-the-line players. I, we have a lot of draft picks, and our QB will probably be decent by the end of the season. So if we can trade to get a you know generational QB, we will. There's no doubt about it. Um... That's pretty insane. That is pretty wild. Let's go ahead and take a uh, look at what it wants us to answer here. Do we want dominating offense or stifling defense? Realistically, I feel like offense is just always easier. Would we rather run it or pass? Well, frankly, I would rather pass. So we will. We'll see how that goes. Um... It's always easier to run for me. I'm just really good at running the ball. I'm okay at passing, not great at it, but running is like my forte. And when you have like Cam Akers, who's not amazing, but most definitely serviceable, I can pretty easily get 150 yards. What are we expecting from Franklin? If I'm playing, a great performance. I, I want to see him go crazy. And that just is 300 yards. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm talking about right there. All right, so scouts, this is... Now a really big deal. I think we're still, for the most part, going best best available at almost every pick in the draft. Uh, just insane QB and wide receiver draft again. Okay, I think for the, for the national one, we're going to want a tier three wide receiver. 
on this side of thing, what is the QB that I was looking at? Taylor Ellis. Yeah, we'll make sure we have him scouted. Okay, he's over here. Honestly, we can... Can we leave wide receiver right there? I don't know. It is a tier 2 scout, so... That looks good. Tackle there. Wide receiver here. Daryl Strickland is kind of the one I would rather pay attention to. Yeah, we're going to move... We're going to move northeast and central. And then we'll go corner for southeast. Okay, trade central and northeast. Okay, I think I got this. I think we're... We're going to be able to do this. Trade northeast and central, right? Northeast and central. There we go. I think the southeast we want corner. So we want a tier 3 wide receiver. Can we get a wide receiver that isn't... Um... Yeah, we'll do this. That looks good. And then we want a corner. I may be blind. Here is a corner. There we go. Corner is going to be what? Uh, southeast. And then, of course, National has always got to be your three star. And let's take a look. Did we? Did we do it? Oh no, this one. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? Wait, what did I do? Oh, no, I did. Okay, I did want quarterback here. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't know if we need it there, but it is what it is. <sighs> okay. I don't I don't know what we're going to do. We traded a lot to trade back from the first pick on the last year. We're probably going to trade it all to get the first pick this year. So, um, yeah, so I guess I will cut to loading into the game. Maybe when the game starts, we'll see. Uh, it won't be long for you guys, though. We're ready for this kickoff. Hopefully, uh, we can take on this Justin Fields-led Bears. Um, it, it'll probably be easy if I play a lot of the game. If I sim the majority, who knows? I'm going to play the first offensive and defensive drive. Um, I find that to be fun. Get the get the tempo set, and then usually I let the the defense do its thing. But I'm I'm probably or I mean the team do its thing. But I'm probably going to play offense and let the defense handle maybe the first quarter to half. Because I would really like to uh, I would really like to like test out this QB. I should have maybe considered doing it like earlier in the. Uh, Preseason, but I didn't. As Tutu Atwell was able to come back for me, thank God. Um, blocking was fantastic. I gotta gotta say that was awesome. I haven't noticed that this year. Blocking seems to be a lot worse, but we get a fantastic play to start the game. Cam Akers doesn't have superstar, which is kind of a big deal. Um, life is just a lot easier when you can get either trucking or the evasive one. They're going to stuff him that time. We had a good first one, but we are going to uh, just kind of, kind of try and throw Ooh, Aaron Donald, excuse me, revenge game. He's, he's trying to become the best player ever. Oh my gosh, what a catch. Is that a rookie? It was. Tight end comes in very clutch. Now, if uh, you guys are expecting me to run like like cheese plays that you know, people play online, I'm not. I'm just going to use coach suggestions. I know what plays work really well for me at least against the computer. It's just not fun to just you know use meta plays every every game. I don't know. It's a personal thing, but I'm right. And I'll stand by that. <laughs> We're going to kick the ball off after getting just a field goal, unfortunately. Especially after 2 2 Atwell's huge reception. Um, We're going to set the tempo by blitzing. We have Devin White, which, what does he have? Per okay, we got to change that. 
persistent. It doesn't help him if he's not an X Factor. I can't believe they haven't fixed that yet. Why it gives you superstar abilities that are meant for X Factor if you don't have it. We are able to stuff that run a little bit. Gonna run some uh, clog flats on cover three. Man, great blocking by them. And he breaks a big game. Michael Carter. Interesting. I think it's Michael Carter. Unless there's another M. Carter that I'm unaware of. Run man coverage, I guess. Defense is a lot harder to always play good at because sometimes you just can't really do much. Don't, please don't ask why. <laughs> why I just did a cut uh, tackle with Witherspoon there. That was not not pretty. I want to see Josh down and get like some good pressure here. Oh, I knew it was a fake handoff, and I I didn't know it was going to be a double. Like I don't even know what you call it. Wide receiver power fake jet. Yeah, didn't know that was happening. <clears throat> um, I will be four, I suppose. Okay, okay, and I that's on me, and I'm I'm getting ripped apart. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is uh this is a tough one. Certainly not the uh, best defensive drive I've had. But they have yet to score, if you think about it. So, certainly not the worst. As Josh Allen didn't, it wasn't running a contain, but that's what it looked like. And he's able to prevent fields from getting out and loose. And uh, that's going to work in our favor. We're going to go ahead and blitz. We're going to leave everyone one on one man coverage. And we are just going to send the house. And we get there again with Josh Allen. Fields panicked. Only had five blockers. And uh, he start, he's certainly paid price. Look, this this defense is starting to come alive a little bit. Look at this. I might blitz with White here, depending on what happens. Wow, brick hands by Darnell Mooney. And that's really nice. That's really nice. We're going to go ahead and send... What did I just hit? Oh, yeah. We're going to send their field goal. And we're just going to just gonna drive a little bit here. Hopefully. I mean, Atwell going very deep while on a drag, which is something I... Excuse me? Uh, if I recall, he wasn't supposed to do that. Okay. That's, um... Mm -hmm. We'll, we'll keep it PG by not saying anything. Now, Wall gets wide. That I'm, I'm almost speechless at what I just witnessed. Look at that draft class. We picked four times in the first. And we have four first next year. How do we do that? The Rams are like a team that are in desperate need for draft picks in real life, right? That's what I thought going into it, at least. Okay, I'm panicking. This is, uh, this is going not great. Maybe I'm better off sending. I really wanted to test out like these new players and stuff, but and Franklin, uh, Franklin sailed. Okay. I'm pretty speechless right about now at what I've witnessed so far in this game, and that almost got blocked. <laughs> We're going to take out their returner's kneecaps, uh, apparently. Can't return it if you can't walk. Defense couldn't couldn't stop them twice, which is not their fault. They shouldn't have to. Um, I'm going to one-on-one -on -one it to Cooper Cup. And I, I kind of messed that up myself. And Cam, oh, Cam, Cam Akers, is, uh, he's hurt now. And that's... Maybe one of the worst injuries we could have outside of Cup. Wong's gonna beat the press and gets the first great throw by Franklin there. It's a high ankle sprain. Okay, that is bad. That is very bad. We're, we're in, um, I don't want to say we're in trouble yet, 
but it's not looking great as Bayless gets wide open in the in between the zones of the defense. Okay. I'm just gonna just gonna try and keep the pace up. And yeah, I'm 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 ready to draft that new QB. That was uh, we have to take deep shots deep shots because of uh, the clock and that. Wow. That's that's incredible, actually. Did he just dot wall here? Okay. Um, what is our quarterback doing? He's the most inconsistent yet perfect QB when he wants to be. Beautiful throw. Great route run by Earl Wall. He seems to be uh, a star already on this offense. We're going to have great possession here. Looks like it was a turnover by the defense. And Cooper Cup's going to get wide open. And we're starting to click on offense here. That's what you like to see. Alright, we're, we're just going to run it we'll up the middle. And great blocking from the wide receivers. Easy walk in for Evans. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't even know who Evans is. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad he's here because... That was, uh, that was nice. That was actually just really great block, to be honest. Sit back in the pocket. We're just trying to take some deep shots, but maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should, uh, play a little bit of a shorter game. As I pick more for verticals, I swear these routes are just always better. Wall is wide open. They just didn't guard him. Our QB underthrew that religiously. Uh, he actually doesn't believe in risking an overthrow. Unless, actually, no, he did it like three times last draft. He's actually just a confusing player. You just have to get to know him. And I, that's on me. That's 100% on me. For some reason, I thought I could, like, really lead him upfield. And you can't this year, at least. Not that I know how to. Okay, alright, it's going a little downhill, but that's okay. We're taking more deep shots for no reason. Our quarterback can well, can throw it accurately deep, though. So he, uh, he must be exclusively a deep passer, which is not good. We don't, we don't want that. Defense is held up for us, so we gotta reward them. Uh, we, we, gotta, we gotta figure something out here. I did put a... Yes, yeah, I did it again. Wow, Higby came up so clutch there. I put Higby on the trade block. Uh, I'm not saying we're going to trade him. I just think it would be unwise to not at least consider. We're going to run uh, a spin here with Puff. As he almost was able to get around that and get a nice game. Uh, I'll go ahead and just hide it and throw it, whatever. I don't feel like waiting. Which maybe is not a good idea. I tried to throw it underneath, didn't quite get it. I'm playing kind of poorly. Which is unfortunate. If you saw my, uh, my Buccaneers franchise that I just do for my own enjoyment, you would, you would see that if you give me a quarterback, and it's really, really good. I'm, I'm really, really good. Uh, I know, crazy, right? I, I don't know why Cup, Cup tried to fade in. He was wide open. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take the safe points. And my Buccaneers franchise, ooh, that's close. No, we're good. My Bucks franchise, I have Evan McPherson because he's almost always great. And uh, I gotta say. It's nice having a kicker that good. I usually don't care that much. It's actually a big difference maker. And a huge turnover there, it looked like. No? Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna run a simple scene, screen. Okay. And it gets absolutely blown up by Aaron Donald. Right? That is Aaron Donald? I'm not tripping. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what he does. That's kind of his thing. I mean, I would, I would say, like, oh man, I regret trading him, he's playing so good. I don't. I don't know if you've seen our team and where it could have been if I didn't trade him, but... Wall is phenomenal, by the way. He is, he's performing so good. And I think I forgot to give him his abilities, so... Remind me to do that. Um, and it's just sailed, but Wall is wide open deep. They can't cover him. The growing pains of the rookie QBs are sometimes really not fun. But if I'm being honest, I don't I don't think Matthew Stafford would make me feel any better as Franklin just he can't locate a pass right now. And late in fourth, this is maybe not the play style I should be going with. Uh, sure it's it's on. But that's boring. Let's do that. And I mean, that is like actually so infuriating. I can't. I can't. I can't understand. Wow. Okay. We need the. Uh, we need the defense to come up clutch again. I can play for him. I didn't see if I can. We're just gonna. We're just gonna trust him. And and they they just are the best. Uh, and those free agent signings. And uh, our new rookies apparently are clicking a lot better than they were as a team from last season. And what just happened, I don't know. I should go down, but I won't. Evans goes all the way to the end zone on what was supposed to be Zach Evans. There we go. It was supposed to be just a small game, and he, he went deep. I love running Madden, and that's why. Uh, they want us... To QB meal, and we definitely can, and we will. I would rather, I would rather just take the win. I'm gonna be honest, guys. All right, well, I will. Uh, I'll see you guys back on the main menu because this is not gonna be fun to watch. <laughs> well, after the game, I went ahead and checked our trade offers, and the Bengals are offering us Cam Taylor Britt, who is a star corner, only 24 years old. He is four overall less, but uh, you know something tells me that age <laughs> kind of makes up for that. So we're gonna go ahead and take that. Uh, it's pretty pretty clear choice. Tyler Higby made some great plays there. Typically, you don't see teams trading a player immediately after winning the last game, but I am I'm doing it. So um, let's uh, let make sure that is not the right button. I'm going to make sure the lineup's good. And uh, I'm just going to sim this week. So we will uh, we will see how that goes. All right. So we're at the negotiating screen for our re-sign players. And uh, we have a lot of money this offseason, which is really surprising. And by the looks of it, not a lot to re-sign. Uh, unfortunately, because I moved Earn. Ernest Jones to uh, outside linebacker. He wants to get paid more. Um, but it's going to be worth it. He's so young that I can offer a seven-year contract, lock him up, and he should be insane for us long-term. 2-2 Atwell. Not the most exciting player to resign, uh, but I'd see him here for the long-term too. I will sign him for seven years if I can. It's always good to do that when you can, when they're really cheap. You know, makes life easy. Bobby Brown, pretty young uh, still, obviously. And once again, I will, for as cheap as you want to be here, D-line's not usually cheap. I'll take it. Rob Havenstein, Havenstein, going to be the biggest question mark on whether it's worth it to sign him back. And with his re-sign -inter re interest so low, we might let him walk to free agency and consider bringing him back then. But for now, I think we're okay. Uh, we have over 100 mil. We are going to have so much money in free agency. Now, I sim two weeks, and they didn't go well. Uh, we lost both pretty close games both times. Um, I kind of just want to go get this season over with. 
because that rookie QB looked so good. I even did another check on him because we got him to 35%. He has three A's from what we can see, and almost everything is uh, is great to elite, including speed, throw power. He looks like he might be the best QB prospect I've ever seen. And uh, I, want, I want him pretty bad. So we're going to uh, just probably sim the majority of the season to get to that point. Now, I might play here and there, especially if we're fighting for the wild card or something. Definitely going to be more tempted. Um, Earl Wall actually unlocks an ability here, so let's go change that. I almost forgot to do that. And he can either get Return Man or Energizer. I forgot he's a superstar that wasn't a 75 for all yet. That makes sense. Uh, I don't care about their X Factor, dude. We're just going to sim. Hopefully this ends up being a win. And then if it's a win, and it is, I'll probably play the offensive drives for the Seahawks game. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll find out shortly. Well, guys, I decided to sim the last two games. <laughs> It went really bad. We lost like 30, 31 to 3, I think. And then we lost this week. We somehow had a, a really good player, though. So we'll take a quick peek. It was definitely white. Um, we have a breakout D lineman. So we're going to see real quick who this could be. Uh, we also have a new injury, of course. And it's our rookie. So that's actually really, really good. He was normal dev. We really need him to get this, like, really bad, <laughs> to put it put it lightly. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and upgrade players. Not even going to do the weekly training. Team's going to look a little bit better this week. We're doing a lot worse than I thought we would, honestly. I thought our team would be so solid this year, but we're off to a bad start. Um, we've lost every game except one that I haven't played. Uh, our backup right in broke his collarbone. I'm intrigued on why he was even playing. Uh, but we're going to sim. Hopefully, hopefully the Dean Lyman, Jeremy, can, can get this. As this sim takes forever. We did win the game, so that's, that's a good start. Oh, no. Okay. Can't do anything about it. Sometimes it's just like that. So we're gonna we're just gonna keep simming probably until uh, the end of the season. Honestly, I don't really feel like playing a lot of these games right now. So, well, guys, uh, we we made him our focus scouted player, and lo and behold, he's a top five prospect. Who who would have guessed? Uh, not me. No, um, he looks incredible. He is 23. That is the only downside to him. <laughs> and uh, it's one I'm pretty willing to overlook, I'm going to be honest. I mean, look at those ratings on the left. There's only two that are good to create, and it's jumping and strength. Like, I care. And look at this page. This is the greatest QB prospect I've ever come across. I will give... My entire team, I will start from scratch with 60 overalls to have this QB. That is how bad I want him. Um, yeah, so he's going to be he's gonna be ours. It's just the way it is. Uh, Calvin Steckler looks really good, too. Uh, Peter Waddle, fantastic name. Uh, also going to be pretty good at looks. However, I did do a little bit more peeking, and if you come down here to the 6'5 wide receiver we wanted, he's going to be a top 5 talent too. I think these are the two best prospects, and I would like to point out he's also only 21. Uh, his physicals are like, just he's just really good. He's not in incredible. He does have elite jumping, more than likely. However, his stats just look great. Uh I gotta be honest, the only thing he's bad at is, uh, like, juke. Juke, kick return. I don't I don't care about that if in spin, I guess. I don't really care about that if you're 6'5", 
and a high overall. This could be insane. So those are the QB prospects we're looking at. Or QB's prospects. The rookie prospects we're looking at. Um, the team is doing not great. We're 4-7, and seven, which granted isn't terrible after the year we had last year. I was kind of hoping to do better, but I also can, like originally thought that I was going to be playing more games. It's just not the case. Um, and uh, I've just been kind of simming after upgrading the players. It auto-does the training and stuff. I could do the little minicamp things in them. I just don't think it's really worth it um, to spend that much time. So I'm just going to keep upgrading players and simming. And uh, you'll either see a dev trait upgrade or you will see the end of the season record. Well, at the end of the season, we finished 6-11. and 11, Just one game shy of what we were hoping for uh, as a bare minimum, which is unfortunate. Uh, but that's all right. Our team did okay, especially for simming. And after this next draft, I think we're going to be just even better. Uh, we didn't really have any standouts, I don't think. Um, we could look at the yearly rewards. That just takes a while. It usually just takes a while. So our QB ends up getting to an 80 overall. We're going to trade him. It's just going to happen. That prospect looks way too good. I, I'm, I'm not passing up on him. We'll see this Super Bowl score real quick. And drum roll, please. Cowboys absolutely murder the Ravens because it's Madden and the Cowboys are always good. Um, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, I'm going to save free agency and the draft for the next one. I think it's going to be a pretty in-depth free agency with the amount of money we have as well as the draft. This is going to be so interesting. I'm so excited for it. So uh, if you like this one, I'm sure I'll post the next one right after. So tune in.